Hey, Psych2Goers. We hope you're doing well and finding time to take care of yourselves. Have you ever wondered if your sadness could mean something more than just feeling down? It's normal and even healthy for all of us to feel gloomy from time to time. But what if it's something more than that? Here are six signs your sadness could be a sign of depression. The information in this video is not intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. All content contained in this video is for general information purposes only and does not replace a consultation with your own doctor or mental health professional. Now let's begin. Number one, you feel sad for no reason. Do you find yourself feeling distraught for seemingly no reason? Is it hard to pinpoint the root of your sadness? According to an article from Medical News Today, there are several normal events that will cause someone to feel upset. From losing a friendship or getting rejected from a job offering, these life events can range in severity and bring on a bout of sadness. While these feelings usually go away with time, it can become problematic when they don't. In other cases, if you find that your sadness is hard to attribute to a certain cause, it may also be a sign of something more. Number two, your sadness is long lasting. How often do you have bad days? Is it just once in a while or do your bad days turn into bad weeks, months, or years? The duration of your sadness can be a strong indicator of whether it's actually depression. According to Medical News Today in 2019, a lower mood lasting more than two weeks can be a sign of something more. Keep in mind too that sadness doesn't necessarily have to be intense to be valid. Any low mood that feels different from your norm should still be considered. Number three, your emotions overtake you. Does your sadness prevent you from carrying out normal activities? An article from Bustle in 2017 looks at several expert perspectives about the differences between sadness and depression. These experts, consisting of psychologists and licensed clinical social workers agree that sadness becomes abnormal when it regularly takes over and prevents you from completing everyday tasks, such as work or socializing. You find yourself laying in bed rather than seeing your friends because you lack the energy to do so. Your hobbies suddenly seem less interesting than they were before. People may also notice a change in your behaviors. Depression drags you down, making it extremely difficult to do the things you once loved. Number four, sadness is not the only problem you're experiencing. Depression is much more than feeling down. When you're in one of these states, do you find yourself fatigued, mentally exhausted, and unable to keep up with your daily tasks? Depression is far more than just an emotion. It affects you mentally and physically as well. According to a 2017 article from Healthline, a key difference between sadness and depression is that depression usually comes with fatigue along with lack of motivation. Moreover, sadness as a depressive symptom may be accompanied by lasting overwhelming guilt and or worthlessness. Number five, you feel it all over your body. Do you have aches alongside your sad feelings? Rather than just emotional discomfort, do you find yourself with unexplainable body pains? If so, your sadness may be indicative of something more. Though simply feeling down can sometimes impact our bodies, it likely points to depression when these aches and pains seem to come from nowhere and are long lasting. According to Healthline, physical depression symptoms can be anything from spontaneous headaches, stomach aches, to general discomfort around the body. These physical pains could be trying to tell you that you may be more than just sad. And number six, you don't feel like yourself. In addition to feeling sad, do you notice your habits beginning to change? Maybe you sleep more or less than you used to, or you're irritable for no reason. According to an article from Very Well Mind, depression can bring out certain changes in you that are beyond what you'd experience when just feeling in the dumps. Whether you're sleeping too much or too little, feeling more pessimistic than normal, or notice a change in your eating habits, feeling less like yourself can mean that you may be more than just sad. Has this video helped you learn about the differences between sadness and depression? Let us know down in the comments below. Please remember to reach out to a mental health professional for an actual diagnosis if you are struggling. Getting in touch with the right professional is essential in getting your life back on track. Be sure to like this video and share it with anyone who you feel will benefit from it. Also make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and turn the notifications on to keep up with our uploads. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Take care.